Good morning, folks. This is your favorite podcast host, Adam Haji, and I'm excited to be bringing you the latest news and entertainment today. Whether you're driving to work, enjoying a cup of coffee at home, or working out at the gym, I'm here to keep you company. And after, welcome back to our podcast series on the mating crisis. In the previous episode, we explored the cultural factors that are contributing to the challenges we face when it comes to finding love and forming meaningful connections. In this episode, we'll be examining the psychological factors that are contributing to the mating crisis. From attachment styles to fear of vulnerability, we'll be exploring the ways in which our individual psychology is shaping our relationships and contributing to the difficulties we face when it comes to finding love and forming lasting connections. Attachment Styles One of the biggest psychological factors contributing to the mating crisis is attachment styles. Attachment styles refer to the way in which we form emotional bonds with others and are typically formed in childhood based on the quality of our early caregiving experiences. There are three main attachment styles, secure, anxious, and avoidant. People with secure attachment styles tend to have healthy, trusting relationships with others, while people with anxious attachment styles tend to be more needy and clingy in relationships, and people with avoidant attachment styles tend to be more independent and emotionally distant. While there's no right or wrong attachment style, people with anxious and avoidant attachment styles may struggle more when it comes to finding and maintaining healthy relationships. Anxious individuals may struggle with feelings of insecurity and jealousy, while avoidant individuals may struggle with feelings of emotional detachment and a fear of vulnerability. Fear of vulnerability. Another psychological factor contributing to the mating crisis is the fear of vulnerability. Vulnerability refers to the willingness to open up and share our true thoughts and feelings with others, even when it's uncomfortable or scary to do so. For many people, the idea of being vulnerable with another person can be terrifying. They may worry about being judged, rejected, or hurt by others, and as a result, they may avoid forming meaningful connections altogether. However, being vulnerable is a crucial part of forming healthy, meaningful relationships. It allows us to build trust and intimacy with others, and to form genuine connections that can last a lifetime. Fear of Intimacy Finally, fear of intimacy is another psychological factor contributing to the mating crisis. Fear of intimacy refers to the fear of getting too close to another person and may be related to a fear of vulnerability or a fear of losing one's independence. People with a fear of intimacy may struggle to form close, intimate relationships with others and may instead prefer to keep their relationships casual or surface level. This can make it difficult to form genuine connections with others and build the trust and intimacy that are necessary for a long-term relationship. Conclusion In conclusion, the psychological factors contributing to the mating crisis are complex and multifaceted. From attachment styles to fear of vulnerability to fear of intimacy, there are many individual factors at work that are shaping our relationships and making it more difficult to form genuine connections with others. However, by becoming more self-aware and working to overcome these psychological barriers, we can begin to address these problems and build healthier, more fulfilling relationships. In the next episode of our podcast, we'll be exploring the societal factors contributing to the mating crisis and discussing some potential solutions to these problems. Thank you for listening. Well, sometimes waiting can be the hardest part. But remember, good things come to those who wait. Waiting for the next episode, and thanks for watching.